All right, lads, so earlier today, we reacted to the free new character reveal, that being Rose, Kensei, and also Shinji. Honestly, happy for you Kensei fans. I've been seeing a lot of, like, just Kensei love over the last, like, couple hours. It's actually nice to see. I didn't think Kensei had that big of a fan base. That's actually kind of mad to me. But here we are today to react to the new character gameplay. We saw their skills and strong attacks earlier today. Uh, for the most part... They are free premium characters. It is a skip. It's a very easy skip. But the characters themselves definitely hold some value, even if you don't like the particular characters. In Rose's case, he's going to be a very good coin and crystal farmer. Also, at the same time, he is a droplet character for the speed attribute, and he does offer that as a soul trait. So he's going to be good as a character or a link when it comes to farming droplets. Shinji is going to be good for when it comes to farming power scrolls. You know, the medium or small uh, attribute scrolls, for example. Could be good in guild quest. That's really about it. He's kind of an iffy character and then kensei is is the weird one for starters he is a link character keep that in mind so he has that value right there but he has a very weird kit especially his sf3 which we're about to see in this video uh he also does have like really high damage output it's kind of insane for a mid-month premium character and also is an arena character so the, these three characters like if you're a fan of these characters you can definitely get some value there which is the main thing if you don't really care about the characters that much then I mean, you can still use them again. They will have some value one way, shape, or form. So, let's see the new gameplay. Now, these characters, to me, are basically Thousand Year Blood War. Like, it's TLA, but it's it's, it's practically Thousand Year Blood War, at least in my opinion. Looking at Rose, though, Rose's model definitely got an upgrade compared to the old one. I always like comp comparing the models. They always do get upgraded when we get new characters. Caleb aren't just cheaping it out, for example. Uh, but Rose looks... Mo mo his model looks nice. I'm liking his model. It's been a while since we've seen him in the captain outfit. So, Akel Chan's mentioning the uh, the skills here. Yeah, Rose looks decent. Um, in terms of damage output, he's definitely the weakest of the three. Does have the best kit, though. So, technically, he is the best of the three in one way, shape, or form. But again, the main thing is that he's going to be giving you those 70% extra coins, 50% extra crystals and jewels, and then also the extra 30% speed droplets. So, again, good farming character. For me, my main usage would be getting the droplets, but for a new account, the extra coins, the extra crystals are definitely going to be good. So, let's see his Nat String. That looks, looks nice. I like the final hit. I'm liking the final hit. SA1 is the short A we in front of him, I believe, right? No, it's the Vortex. It makes sense. I like it. SA2, lunge forwards. Very short, but it does come out quite quick. And then SA3 is a full screen. Okay. Nice. <laughs> let's rewind it. I want to see this, the strong attacks again. I'm liking the visuals of the Nat String. He is quite a simple character, but I'm liking it. I, I think it definitely looks better than the last one we had a couple years ago. Might do a comparison video, who knows? And the SA3 looks nice too. I like the final slash in the middle. It looks cool. Alright, let's see the Soul Bomb. Does he come through with the, uh, the guitar? I guess not. <laughs> okay. Oh, finishing up with the pose. I like it. I like it. What was actually kind of cool then? Also weird. They do this so many times. So his base gameplay has him with his Shikai, right? And then in the Soul Bomb, man goes back to his As Asuchi. Is that what you call it? Like just the base blade itself. Does a, a slash, another slash. And then like just kind of just does a little twirl and does the Shikai. That's really cool. That's a cool transition. Make sure a good pose too. Rose got the swag. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Then he finishes up, does a slam. I think he did that in the past version. And then does a little pose. I like it. Rose is doing Rose things. Can't complain about that. So, yeah, I think Rose is probably best in Banner. <laughs> probably. Uh, definitely has the most value there. And again, he also does look probably like the best set of strong attacks. Uh, next up, we have Shinji. Not the biggest fan of his artwork, but his model definitely does look better. Can definitely tell by like the, the face. So they do mention here, he's going to be a good character for farming scrolls. Again, power attribute scrolls, the small and medium ones. Um, debuff SA2, kind of a gimmick for the most part, but it's still, I guess, nice to see it. My only problem with the particular character when we watch the gameplay, you're going to see it, is, is this SA1. Uh, since SA2 is going to have a longer than usual cooldown, you really want to make up for it with that SA1. And it's kind of unfortunate they gave him that, like, kind of that bad SA1. And they did the exact same thing for Barrigan. Like, him and Barrigan literally have the exact same kit, which is kind of annoying. Natural looks nice. Weird to see him range, though. The last two Shinto we've seen in this, like, you know, TLA or past post-TLA uh, outfit have all been melee. So seeing him range now is awkward. I'm not going to lie. 
It's very awkward. Is this the first ranged cannon Shinji? It might be. It might be. It's also strange, in my opinion, that we're getting another Shinji, uh, even though we literally just got one. Uh, going back, though, SA1 just looks like a slash. Very basic slash. Looks all right. Is that the SA2? Okay, SA2 is the 800 in front of him. It kind of looks cool. Like, he dashes forward, then goes back. It's actually very similar to... It reminds me of the Khan Fjord version. I'll say that. It reminds me of that. And it's SA3. Oh, that's a quick one. That's a quick slash. You just see him slide across the screen. It looks cool. I like it. Got the little after effect too. Is it using Sakunade too? We can kind of see like the purple outline behind it. I, I think he is. That slash comes in. Nice. I like that. I like that. And then that's for his soul bomb. It's using Sakunade. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Very simple solo, but I like it. I like it. Going back. I'm actually sad for Kensei. I'm, I'm glad they, they said Kensei for last. That one's cool. So we get the slash straight away. Very similar to Ichigo, but Ichigo is different because he just does po poses. At least this Shinji comes through with follow-up attacks. We have a slash. That's the cool part to me, is that, like, obviously our senses are being inverted. And while he slashes downwards, the slash comes opposite. That's a cool touch. And then he just does, like, a final slash. Does a little pose. There's, that's just a that's just a trippy soul bomb, as expected from Sakunade, right? Uh, but I did like that second slash. And then lastly, we have Ken saying, I think probably the the biggest difference here in the model because it's been a very long time since we received a Kensei. And have we even received Kensei in this version? I don't think so. I guess the last one, the technique one, was a uh, the past version. Maybe it was the like the current TLA one. I'm not too sure. But you can definitely tell the difference in the model. His head looks a lot bigger, I think. It looks more to size, in my opinion. But Kensei looking good. So, again, Kensei's the weird one because he has great skills. Like, really high damage output. Gets frenzy plus two in arena. Unfortunately, is lacking havoc, as the other two characters are. Uh, but his SA3, man. What is that SA3? We're about to find out. Uh, we know what it is. It's a lunge into a vortex. But as an SA3? Really? That's just the weird part to me, man. Uh, he does have an increased chance of affecting stat elements, though, against any technique enemy, which is nice. But he's lacking guard break. So he's a very weird character. Like, he was given great set of skills, but it feels like he was he, he, he has, like, two skills missing that he should have gotten. So Nadstring. Keep in mind, he's not a Nad character. Nadstring looks nice, though. I like it. SA1, I think he's going to have very basic attacks. I like the back part, though. I don't think the back ever looked like that. Maybe it did. I'm not too sure. So SA1 is, like, a short... Like, AoE in front of him. It's a good strong attack one. SA2, again, another slash is him using his, uh, his Bankai, right? SA2 is a beam forward. Again, good strong attack two. Okay. It's not too bad then. That's weird, All right? So it's not... It, it, in, in Soul Dex's information, it said it was like a... It was a very similar to Yami's SA2. And Yami's SA2, if you've seen it, is a lunge forward and then the vortex around him. This is way better than I expected. And I think, yeah, Kensei is definitely best in Banner in terms of damage output and, you know, maybe usability to a certain extent. Like, you can use Rose, but Rose is you're going to be using just for the, to get the extra, like, farm and stuff, right? But as a playable character, I think Kensei is definitely the best here. And that's a way better SA3 than I originally thought it was. It does lack a bit on the range, especially because he does enough Havoc, but essentially it groups everyone up very quick. And then he does, like, another attack? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Again, way better than I originally thought. So, um, uh, Kensei, Kensei's good. Kensei's good. Kensei's good. Can't complain about that. Let's see the soul bomb, though. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, I wonder if they took any inspiration from Fowl's New Bundle. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Like, is this the same pose that he does in, in the manga? Like, that particular shot? It might be, you know. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's just a very simple one. What I do like, though, and again, this is just, like, nothing too big, but I like the movement of the Bankai. It's, it doesn't feel static. That's one problem I had with Thousand Year Battle with Yodowichi, is that that electric thing behind her was very static. Like, you can actually see his Bankai moving around quite fluidly. I kind of like it. And he just does a slash forward. A lot of different camera shots or camera angles for Kensei Sobon. Like, that one, I feel like we could have probably had a bit of extra screen time on the initial shot. I think it switches too quick. But we can see his piercings, funny enough. That's kind of cool. Yeah, all right. 
not too bad. So, with that, lads, that's basically the gameplay. So, let me know in the comments below what you lads thought about the gameplay. I'm uh, definitely more impressed with Kensei now that I've seen his actual strong attacks compared to what we saw in the data. Um, uh, Shinji looks great. Rose looks great. I think these characters are all pretty decent for the most part. I don't think they're as bad as people might think they are. They're all pretty good characters. And all three of them, in my opinion, hold some value if you ever do get them in the future. So while I will be pulling on them, I won't even be doing the first step. I do hope that sometime in the future I get my hands on this character. Because I will be using Rose as a character and also a Link. I will definitely be using Shinji as a Link. Because that's going to be great in Gear Quest when it comes to nuking. Maybe with someone like Noel, for example. That's going to be a pretty good increase. And then Kensei, um... Kind of weird one, because I, would I use him? I don't know. I currently use Ruka and Tosha for when it comes to farming potions, but I wouldn't mind using him, to be fair, if I did get him. I think he might actually de out DPS those two characters, too. Definitely would, actually. So I'll probably use Kensei if I ever get him to farm Link's or potions, which is kind of good because he does like guard break, so in Epic Raid, you don't need guard break. The only place you really need guard break for the most part is in IT, and he's going to be a pretty good character in IT regardless because he is always going to be inflicting stat elements. That SA3 is almost guaranteed to inflict stat elements with his, you know, increased chance of inflicting stat elements. So yeah, not too bad overall. Pretty decent banner. If I was to rank them from visuals, um, probably would say Rose first, then Shinji, then Kensei. I didn't think Kensei looked that impressive in terms of the visuals. I, I was surprised by his gameplay, but uh, visually, I think like he's kind of a basic character. It's just wind. It, it's, it's you know, Kensei isn't a, a flashy character. Meanwhile, the other two characters are, so they kind of had the advantage anyway. But with that said, lads, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.